Welcome again to Miss Mons TV. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and watch our other videos. In today's video, I will explain to you the chemical equation for the double replacement reaction test tube numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4. To watch the video for double replacement reaction experiment that we did before, please click the link in the description below. Double replacement reaction general equation. So we have AB plus CD. A is the positive ion and B is the negative ion. And this one is C which is also a positive and D which is negative. Then they will change partner. So the A, the positive ion, will have a partner with the D. And the C will partner with B. So this is the general equation for the double replacement reaction. A, B plus C, D will yield to AD plus CB. Test tube number one, sodium hydroxide and copper sulfate. So we have sodium hydroxide plus copper sulfate. We will separate the components. So we have the sodium, the hydroxide, copper, and sulfate. Then we will put their charges. Na has a charge of positive 1, OH negative 1, copper has positive 2, and sulfate has negative 2. So they will change partner. Na will be partner with sulfate. Then copper will be partner with OH or hydroxide. Since this is a double, displacement reaction. So we have now sodium sulfate and copper hydroxide. So from test tube number one, we have this equation sodium hydroxide plus copper sulfate will turn to sodium sulfate plus copper hydroxide. This is not yet a balanced equation. So, Na has 1, hydroxide has 1, copper 1, sulfate 1, the sodium here is 2, sulfate is 1, copper 1, and 2 hydroxide. So, as we can see, the sodium here is only 1 and the sodium here is 2. So we will put 2. So sodium will become 2. Hydrogen, hydroxide will become 2. So the hydroxide is balanced already. So we have now the balance equation for test tube number 1. Test tube 2. Copper sulfate and barium chloride. So the same thing we will do with test tube number 2. So we have copper sulfate bar plus barium chloride. We will separate the components. Get each uh, charge ions. And the double displacement become copper chloride plus barium sulfate. So, let's see if the equation is balanced. So we have one copper, one copper, one sulfate, one sulfate. We have one barium, one barium, and two 
chlorine. So this is the balance equation for test tube number 2. Test tube 3, sodium carbonate and hydrochloric acid. For test tube number 3, sodium carbonate and hydrochloric acid. We we'll separate the component. Give the charges and have the double displacement reaction. So let's further divide this reaction. So we have NaCl will remain the same. This H2 and carbonate, so we will take the carbon dioxide and the water. So the final equation is sodium carbonate plus hydrochloric acid becomes sodium chloride plus carbon dioxide plus water. Let's check the equation if it is balanced. So we have 2 and A. So it means they are not balanced. We'll put 2. Becomes 2. So the Cl now becomes 2. So... In here, the CL is only 1, so we will put the coefficient 2. So the H is, hydrogen is 2 now, and the hydrogen is 2. So the, it is balanced already. And for test tube number 4, barium chloride and sodium sulfate. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned this video today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.